Okay, guys, you guys ready for gumball? We're trying to be, but we're already late for our gate. By the way, it's <laughs> gate 69. You see everybody lined up. We're late to get on our plane and the SVJ stuck in customs. So we're about to fly halfway across the world just to see if we can get our car out of jail. Welcome to London. You guys, this is it, the start of Gumball 3000. We're here in London, my first time ever being in this country. And as you can tell, I have my Gumball rings on, I'm ready to go, but there's a problem. There he is. <laughs> All right, welcome to London, welcome you guys. To London. You've never been here before. I've never been to London before. This is a big deal, and we have some friends here that hopefully we can meet up with, but unfortunately, they were supposed to pick us up from the airport, but then our boy, James, Mr. JWW, his car got broken into yesterday. We stole his passport oh. and everything. And it was his uh, M3 uh, wagon. So now he doesn't have a car that has enough room to pick us up. He's dealing with those problems. We'll deal with our problems. Yes, we will. We have a car that's stuck in jail. Yes, in England, even the escalators are on the wrong side out here. How often are we going to screw that up? And Damon's driving a left-hand drive car on the right side of the road, like we did in Japan back in 2019. That was confusing. We didn't have the roundabouts they have here. Well, my man, you know I love luxury. Our Uber is a 7 Series. Sir James, how are you, sir? Hey, I've had better days, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. We heard. I'm sorry, dude. So sorry to hear about that. The, the worst. The worst last, uh, the worst last 10 hours, man. I've basically had my entire life stolen. So, uh... I, I, I currently own what I'm wearing and uh, I'm like neck deep in passport office trying to get that back online. Laptop gone, camera's gone, uh, just everything. Everything that you would travel with for a trip like this, everything, gone. Bro, mate. Yeah, including the back window of the M3. So I'm really sorry I couldn't come and get you from the airport, but uh, I'm without a car and um, well, I will come and see you. We might not have a car either, James. I haven't told the audience yet, but we might not have a car either. So we're all gonna be cars walking around London. Yeah. Oh, well, we're all in the same boat. <laughs> no one has a car for a gumball. My SVJ is stuck in customs and it's got a- what? It's It's stuck in customs and it's got a hard transmission fault. Mate, <laughs> it wouldn't be fun if it wasn't it's difficult, would it? All right, well, we're off to the hotel. Whenever you're sorted out, James, come see us and uh, I'll get you a spot of tea. <laughs> this guy's gonna drive his car. Again. Yeah, I'm going to oh, Dorchester. Uh, Welcome to England. <laughs> it's your first time in London, or first time in England? Yeah, first time leaving Heathrow. I mean, okay. it's always a okay, connector, okay. but... Well, it's London at the right time. It's actually sunny and not oh, yeah, It's out. beautiful out here right Normally, now. It's sun. It's so we're gonna get some food, and then we're gonna go check out some cars. And we're hoping that we can try to make some phone calls and get my car out of uh, customs prison, so... Yeah. I'll explain that in a minute because it's a cluster. By the way, this hotel has a crazy dress code. James says you have to come stay at the Dorchester. It's the nicest hotel in London. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So okay. come here. I sent Dave <laughs> six options and he picked the poshest one. I sent him to a dad. <laughs> He forwarded them to me, and then I picked the poshest one. Oh, did you one. pick the poshest one? I was like, you want to go here for what? this, you want to go here for this. And I think why you picked it was, I said, oftentimes outside the front of the door chest is where all the nice cars park. And Damon must have gone, that one. That's what I picked it for. <laughs> okay. And we showed up and there's a Defender here. She said, uh, <laughs> no hats, no t-shirts, no sneakers, you have to wear pants. I'm like, well, okay. we're, we're going to go eat somewhere, somewhere else. Then. Okay, where are we going to eat? Food. Station somewhere. A food station. <laughs> <laughs> the cuisine is sounds amazing. All right, guys, come to the food station with us. I always see uh, fake taxi cabs on the internet. You know those videos, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm familiar. <laughs> There's just not enough room in this one. So cool because everything here is so different from home. So different and so much smaller, right? Like yes. the streets are tiny here. We've got these um, width restriction what? zones here and they will shrink the width of the road to a little bit over six feet wide and it's to stop big trucks going down like residential roads sat nav doesn't tell you that there's these pinch points so for most cars it's okay if you go down in a supercar it could be a real bad day out how wide is the svj it's probably wide. that wide it's wider than yeah. six feet i wouldn't i don't think an svj would fit through it like g g genuinely so we're gonna go to brompton cross now and get some food we'll sit opposite the original Michelin HQ. Do you have any connections to the king or the royal family? Sadly not. How do we get the car out of customs? <laughs> they want to see they want to see proof of ownership, but the issue is the company that it's leased through yes. is a numbered company. Yeah. It's not a daily driven exotics. No. The car got and it's Canadian. Yeah. Okay. And it's in Alberta, but our driver's licenses are from British Columbia. We yeah. have nothing that shows 
the address. We right. don't have our incorporation documents that shows we own the company. No. But the car's leased. But we do have a letter from the leasing company, August Luxury Motor Cars. But then the other issue is we shipped it from the United States. So they're kind of like, why does it come from the US if you're Canadian? Well, it's a Canadian car. So it's, it's like this really long, convoluted story. So and we sent them to the YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah, and they, they said we are not subscribing. <laughs> <laughs> We're laughing right now, but it's really stressful. We paid a uh, lot of real. money to get that it's car real. here. It's real. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That was Boro James Senna. So what we're under is the Babendum building, which is the original Michelin HQ from back in the day in the You see it UK. in the stained glass? It says yeah. Michelin. Yeah, but in the stained glass, oh, yeah. the thing is an old school Michelin, old Michelin man. man. And upstairs is a Michelin star restaurant. Makes sense. Oh, it's right there. The chef in there, I think, is Claude Bosey, I think. Anyway, it's like a top tier like Michelin restaurant, but downstairs it's just a cool. <laughs> everything cool is so plate. small. Like, this intersection is tiny, dude. But I'm yeah, standing yeah. on the sidewalk. Everything's everything's small, right? It's like, like I was watching the traffic. It's micro machine. I was yeah. walking backwards. I was walking backwards, looking up. And, and you thought, oh, I'm gonna get hit by a bus. I saw the bus and I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. It's small. You know what car we need here? The Hummer. Dude, when, the could Hummer. you imagine the Hummer? Make it anyway. Wouldn't make it here. No chance. So, so we're gonna try to get some lunch and make a few calls. Yeah, try and get your, your car sorted, man, because you've got not a lot of time, no. honestly. It's really better work on that. Here's the other fun part. Yeah. It also has a transmission fault. Fantastic. Yeah, hard red transmission malfunction. Or it was gearbox malfunction, is what it says on the dash. If we can get the car out, then we need to also scan it. Is there an auto zone around here in the Riley? <laughs> Is that a thing in London? I can't say there is. There's a Lamborghini dealer down there. Oh, really? That'll yeah. work. Do you want to go buy a new SVJ? Yeah. They're cheaper here. They're cheaper here. They are cheaper here. They're right hand They're like drive. A That's why. Because no one, aren't they? No one right. wants a right hand drive car. No offense. Uh, no offense. Other than over here. <laughs> <laughs> so we just ate lunch. It is 5 21 here in the great UK. And I have not had a phone call from customs yet. So right now we have nothing. So what can we do right now, James? Well, I, I reckon we, if we flag down this taxi and ask him how much it is from London to Montenegro, that's going to be the best. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even funny, but it's funny. London to Montenegro. I don't know what we're going to do. It's a bit expensive. <laughs> so as a backup plan, Damon contacted Gumball for a rental car. Do you want to do the rental car thing again? I did. Like I, I said, hey, who's your rental car company? We're laughing oh, right now, but it is really stressful. But we'll make the best of it. We'll tour London for a bit. Maybe buy a dress. Yeah. We're here in front of Kensington Station. And we thought as a backup plan, if we can't get the car to customs, we're going to go buy one. We're going to go buy one right now. So, all right, here we go. What do we got here? It's an ultimate. An ultimate? And the clothes? Oh, probably no. invite only here, Walk. I assume. We have a secret Sweet weapon right here. Cheers. Secret weapon. Hello, Hi. how are you? Are we okay to come look? Thank you very much. Ooh. It's crazy because it's right hand drive. Really? Uh, and it's right hand drive, Damien. Perfect. JDM. How much is this? Yes, this is what you're, you want to do a roadster. We'll get two. Well, we're already here. We'll get two. We'll buy two cars that we can't use back home. We'll put them on uh, Mr. JWW's Lamborghini Credit. So jokes aside, they're much cheaper here because they are right-hand drive, which is very select few market that would want that car. As you can tell right now, the steering wheel is on the wrong side. All right, so Dave's on the phone with Customs and apparently still having some real issues with this. Well, no, there's four layers to it. The Alberta Corporation that owns the car's lease from a BC Corporation, but then the Alberta Corporation leases it back to BC, and it goes to California and operated by the California LLC, which is who sent it. But Good luck with that. Super convoluted, down, but it would really suck. Like, if we can't get the car out, I actually genuinely am having some serious anxiety about like what we would drive, because even James has said it's probably too late in the game to even get a car. Not once. All right. Well, I sent everything, and now it's like quarter to six. What are the odds that we can get it like today or tomorrow? Not tonight? The, the, one second. The question now is can we get it at all? So we My leave, God. We leave on Sunday and drive seven days, and the car's going to Porto Montenegro for next Sunday. We're just getting picked up. Which we paid to have it picked up from. Yeah. They get that. Oh, so, Carson. if the Carson. car doesn't get by Sunday, point. We got an Uber. We're heading over to this event where James has his new dealership, Koenigsegg London. Is that Big Ben? Well, this is Westminster Abbey here. Yeah. And, uh, I'm not going to lie, James is not a great uh, tour guide. <laughs> Pretty cool, man. So, how old is that building, James? That old as <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's Big Ben. Yeah. How much does it cost to stay there for a night? In Big Ben? 
There's actually a room and you can Airbnb just behind the clock there. But I'm not sure how long I can keep a straight face. What <laughs> <laughs> is this? Uh, it's just, it goes over the water. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know. Worst tour guide this ever. Is the uh, Victoria Embankment SW1. <laughs> you are correct. So James, where are we right now? Yeah. We, well, I actually know where we are now, but only, <laughs> only because I've been here for the last two days. So this is the Honorable Artillery Company. This is effectively a sort of artillery floor. Well, this guy's underneath got, here. This guy's got a down uniform there. on. Oh, tank storage. Down, tank, down, down that ramp there. Tank, literally there are tanks. tanks down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we see them? I don't think so. No, that's, <laughs> that is, uh, Who do that, we need that to doesn't talk get to? us this far. Who do we need to talk so, to? Yeah, it's a bit of a shame. Is that. the king here? I need to talk about getting my SVJ out. There's a beautiful P1. Oh, that's a Gorgeous. But the car beside the car, I think, will catch your eye. Oh, hands down. Yeah. That orange SV over there. As amazing as this car is, yeah. it eats when it comes to how great that car sounds. Sounds. Yeah. <laughs> you built this. Yeah. First of all, the interior is on a whole other level. This. Four Recaros. Oh, James. Four in here. It's so good. James, James. James. It's good fun in there. You're speaking my language in here, James. And there is a biometric safe in there. So that's a fingerprint recognition safe in the middle. You could, a, you could use that right now, a hey? big... <laughs> <laughs> Let's put more of that on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Starting to stink. <laughs> oh! Oh! It's cool. My goodness. It's so chill back here, man. This is the I nicest... Know. Check how nicest. much Celsius could you put in that? <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping you were gonna open that up and there were gonna be in there. I was like, if you, could you imagine? If you shipped them halfway across the world yeah. for us, and I was like, I could use one right I was like, now. right now, it's about to get Celsius. tight back in this one. Oh no, he's got the English accent. Who does? What? What? Come on, Brav! I'm in the back of a defender! Back of the defender, Gavna! What are you offering at? You're having a laugh! <laughs> so, because the SVJ is stuck in prison, what are we doing? You, you can hop in the white one if you want. Yes. Yeah. I would. You know? You could cross the line in that one. I would be yeah. that. Yeah. Hanging which in my be, best friend's ride on the passenger side. <laughs> I know that life. Where they <laughs> so a car I think would be really cool to get for the next Dave underscore DDE Gold Edition car would be a Countach. Now, I know what you're saying, Dave, you're too big for that car, but you can modify it. Probably this one, the servo's on the wrong side. But it'd be cool to buy this car and do a resto mod on it, get it proper brakes, put an actual like Mercia Lago or Ventador V12 in it, make it actually fast. It's like, this is a poster car for when I was a teenager. It was all about the Countach. Over here we have a Diablo SV like with Dave had for a little while, very close. Probably should not have sold that car because they've gone up, 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 up. Super cool, again, this would've been a great resto mod. I'm not sure if you guys would want to see that, so comment below, would you want to see us take a classic Diablo, Countach, and make it modern? So add the DDE spin to it, so it's like performance, burnout, that noise. Like, could you imagine, this is a really bad idea, and you're gonna get mad at me for this, taking the engine from a 599, that amazing screaming V12, and putting it in the back of that car. Comment below. 8.20 p.m., still no SVJ. I was told I would have an update after 5 p.m., but no window of when the update would be. I'm supposed to leave tomorrow, and uh, I'm not sure what's gonna happen, so stay tuned. In the meantime, we're gonna go investigate what happened to Mr. JWW's BMW rear window. Personally, I think it was an inside job, but I'll ask the tough questions for you guys. Tell us what happened. Oh, this is I'll tell you what happened. We are exhibiting Koenigsegg London at London Concourse for three days. And this is recommended this is like the place to park. We parked down here yesterday, parked okay? Parked down here yesterday because we're at the show and we're here for three days and this is a good base and it's an NCP car park. It's not a long story right now. What he didn't say is yesterday he called an insurance company and upped his insurance $220,000. <laughs> a very specific number. He told them that I got diamonds back there, all my investments, my stamp collection when I was a teenager. And here's the scene of the crime. How are your lights on? I, it automatically unlocks by proximity with oh. King. Just like hands on. Well, I didn't get everything. There's a first aid kit back there. There's first aid kit back there, and Lego sent <gasps> my boys some Lego. No. Oh, now it works. Now it works. So, so broken. Unbelievable. You wouldn't believe as well how far the glass goes. Well, you know firsthand. I don't. Not that I had a sledgehammer to mind, but actually, I probably did because I was in a There's rush glass to get everywhere here. to the show because I was supposed to be on stage presenting a chat about Koenigsegg. London, I was like rushing, just slammed my door and just left. And then I came back to it, gone. Passport, laptop, cameras, AirPods, three hard drives, my entire clothes, luggage, new custom Nike ID blazers for the next two weeks. Vanish. 
Anyway, so, oh. they should have stolen this because this oh, is a couple of hundred quid right here. Look at that. What's cool is you have the M3 wagon, which we don't have in we North America. In States, right? We don't get these. Yeah. Cool. Oh, look at the interior. Look, look at the glass everywhere. Yeah, it's everywhere. Like the, glass. the glass actually made it onto the dash in the front, which is pretty nice. I've got, we've got glass on the front seat here. Yeah. How's, how's that get there from the rear window? Where are we, Mr. History Buff? We are on the Mall, approaching Buckingham Palace. History Buff. <laughs> Genuinely, look, you don't want to miss it. How are we looking for, James? You haven't described anything to me yet. All I see are flags so far. So this is where you're suggesting we go and start kicking some doors in to get my SVJ back. There you, there you go, yeah. yeah so by so the way, we're 9.30 with yeah, a new yeah. update, so it's going really good. So you, you still haven't had a phone call? No. <laughs> it's not looking promising, guys. They said they would call us by about 8.30. And it's nine, what is it now? 9.30. 9.30, okay. What, what, hypothetically, what are we gonna rent for a car? Well, the, we don't have a car there's like a home. BMW 3 Series on the list that's left. Like, there's no supercars left. <laughs> there is. There's a 3 Series with a blown out window for real cheap. <laughs> The Americans watching right now, what's that building for? Who lives there? What's the deal? That is a royal palace of the royal family. They live there? No, actually. <laughs> uh, but but it, 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 it represents the monarchy. This thing. And I don't know what that actually represents, but it's, <laughs> it, is a, it is a significant piece of architecture <laughs> in a prominent part of London. <laughs> that was cool. Well, 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 we don't have good news. It is uh, 12.35 in the morning. No car. Yeah. Not even a phone call. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on. And they on. warned us that it won't be a priority. So you get an answer with the next step could take days. So, I don't know guys. We're actually not sure what to do right now. Like, yeah, might be. Door opening. Might be. Maybe the biggest one to borrow a car. I can't believe we actually, like in all seriousness, I can't believe we had a car sent halfway across the world and now we can't even drive it. We, we actually have like 12 hours to figure this out. Because then we have to go to Scotland. We paid, full disclosure for you guys, we paid $33,000 in shipping, and about $14,000 in insurance. So we're at just under $50,000 to have the SVJ here for Gumball. So if you got cleared after the drive started, like, what's the point? Leave it here for a few months? I don't know. This is our room here. Um, to be clear with you guys, that's two beds, okay? I know they're pushed together, that's how they do it in Europe. So we asked James, by the way, for a room suggestion here in London, and he's like, hey, there's a really nice hotel, there's car spotting. Number one, this place, you have no idea what they charge for a night here. He told me, I was like, and we're done in a night, this is where you come to sleep. What side do you want, left or right? I'll take the right. We, we, yes. <gasps> so that's it for this one, you guys. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I actually am not, so. I hope you enjoyed the tour of London. We're going on Gumball one way or the other, whether we have to take a cab or... Walking 3,000 miles. Walking 3,000 miles. In Europe.